Bible for Children presents Samson, God's Strong Man written by Edward Hughes illustrated by Janie Forrest adapted by Lynn Dorkson produced by Bible for Children www.m1914.org Copyright 2020 Bible for Children, Inc. License, you have the right to copy or print this story, as long as you do not sell it. Long ago, in the land of Israel, lived a man named Manoah. He and his wife had no children. One day the angel of the Lord appeared to Mrs. Manoah. You will have a very special baby, he said. She told her husband the wonderful news. Manoah prayed, O oh my Lord, come to us again. Teach us what we shall do for the child. The angel told Manoah the child must never have his hair cut, must never drink alcohol, and must never eat certain foods. God had chosen this child to be a judge. He would lead Israel. God's people certainly needed help. They left God out of their lives, and then were bullied by their enemies, the Philistines. But when they prayed, God heard. He sent this baby who would become the world's strongest man. So the woman bore a son and called his name Samson, and the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move upon him. Samson became very strong. One day he fought a young lion with his bare hands, and killed it. Later, Samson tasted honey from a swarm of bees which had nested in the lion's dead body. He made up a riddle, out of the eater came something to eat and out of the strong came something sweet. Nobody could guess the meaning, but Samson's new wife, a Philistine, told her friends. This made Samson very angry. Samson was even more angry when the Philistines gave his wife to be wife of his best friend. He planned revenge. But how? First, Samson caught 300 foxes. Then he tied their tails together, two by two, and placed flaming torches between them. Then Samson released the foxes in the Philistines' grain fields. Now the Philistines wanted revenge. Samson let himself be caught, tied up and handed over to be killed by the Philistines. But the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. He broke the ropes, picked up a fresh jawbone from a dead donkey, and killed 1,000 enemies. Philistine search parties looked for Samson. One night, they trapped him in a city and locked the city gates. But Samson walked out, carrying the city gates on his shoulders. But Samson failed God. God gave him strength as long as he obeyed. One day, Samson shared the secret of his strength with Delilah, a beautiful Philistine spy. She had a man shave off Samson's hair while he slept. Then Philistine soldiers attacked Samson in Delilah's bedroom. Samson fought hard, but his strength was gone. His enemies put out his eyes. Blind and weak, Samson became the Philistine's slave. They laughed and mocked God's servant. The Philistines had a feast. They praised their fish god, Dagon, for giving Samson into their hands. They drank and rejoiced in Dagon's temple. Then they called for Samson to perform for them. A boy brought Samson, and let him lean on the pillars which held up the temple. There were three thousand Philistines on the roof, and many more in the temple, all mocking him. But Samson's hair had begun to grow in the prison. Now he prayed, O oh Lord God, strengthen me just this once, that I may take revenge for my two eyes. Would God give Samson strength again? Could Samson do the impossible? Yes, yes. Straining and heaving, Samson forced the mighty pillars apart. Dagon's temple crashed to ruins, killing thousands of Philistines and Samson. Samson, God's strong man A story from God's Word, the Bible, is found in Judges chapters 13 to 16, The entrance of your words gives light. Psalm chapter 119 verse 130 The end This Bible story tells us about our wonderful God who made us and who wants us to know Him. 
God knows we have done bad things, which he calls sin. The punishment for sin is death, but God loves us so much he sent his son, Jesus, to die on a cross and be punished for our sins. Then Jesus came back to life and went home to heaven. If you believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive your sins, he will do it. He will come and live in you now, and you will live with him forever. If you want to turn from your sins, say this to God, Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and now lives again. Please come into my life and forgive my sins, so that I can have new life now, and one day go to be with you forever. Help me to live for you as your child. Amen. Read the Bible and talk with God every day. John chapter 3 verse 16.